Hey, hey, hey. Shh, it's okay, baby. You're okay. I'm right here. I'm right here. Scared you awake, huh? Here. Let me get closer to you. Shh, it's okay, love. I'll keep you safe. I won't let anything hurt you. Shh, I got you, baby. Shh, you're okay. I got you. <laughs> Forward kisses make everything better, don't they? Yeah, I knew they did. You like that? I can feel you calm down. I can feel you breathing so slow. That's it, baby. Breathe in. Breathe out. I love the way how your hair smells. I love the way how you smell. It's okay. I got you. I'm here. I won't stop till you calm down. What? No, I don't think it's dumb for you being afraid of thunder. I think it's actually kind of cute. In a weird way. I think you're kind of cute. Mwah. But not in a weird way. Just like in a normal way. <laughs> you're so warm. Baby, I got you. You're okay. Think you're gonna have trouble getting back to sleep? Yeah. I can do that. I can keep talking to you while you fall back asleep. Keep your mind off your anxieties. Any topics you want to start off with? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, the moment I knew... I was in love with you was, uh, let's see, I think it was our fourth or fifth date. Yeah, when we went ice skating that December. <laughs> we had already gone for dinner earlier, and we were just skating around, pointing and checking things out, the Christmas lights, having a good time. You started to lose your balance, and I caught up and scooped you in my arms, but ruined it when I fell on my ass. And you on my lap. God, that hurts so bad. That ice is not forgiving. <laughs> you had a cup of hot chocolate in your hands when you fell and spilled it down in front of me. And you wouldn't stop apologizing, even though I said it wasn't your fault. You looked so distraught. I really thought you were going to cry and those tears of yours returned to icicles. Mm. You looked so cute with your nose and cheeks pink from the cold, and your eyes wide and holding back tears. It was while I was trying to calm you down, I think that was the moment I fell in love with you. I decided I never want to see you sad again. I'd give anything you wanted to be happy. I decided that I wanted to be the reason for some of your happiness. Hey. You're supposed to be sleeping. But yeah, I had a feeling you'd remember too. Now it feels like so long ago. And my love for you has only grown since then. You know, I've been thinking lately about love. About how society treats it, I mean. There's one thing that's been sticking out to me lately. The phrase, I choose to love you. For a long time, I didn't really understand what it meant. I always had the idea of once you fall in love, that's it, you know? Fairy tale ending, the prince found Cinderella, Snow White woke up, a princess kissed the frog happily ever after. <laughs> um, I remember there's a friend of mine who was going all about how he wanted to marry his girlfriend when they were young, seniors in high school. But then, the next week, he was talking about how he didn't really like her haircut. You know, something stupid. And I remember I was thinking, 
If you're thinking about marrying this person, then how is there anything you can dislike about them? Isn't love supposed to fix everything? But that's not how love and relationship works. At least, not all the time. Sometimes there will be things you dislike about your partner, big or small, no matter how hard you try. And it's because we're human. Sometimes you won't like their haircut, uh, you won't like the way how they snore, or the way how they sleep in a cold room. Hey, yeah, it's okay. Shh, love, it's okay. I still got you. I still got you in my hands, rubbing your back, soothing you, okay? You good? Okay, love. <laughs> You're so cute when you make sleepy sounds. Um, but anyway, this all leads back to the idea of choosing love. Regardless of human flaws, choosing someone, choosing them over other things, choosing them over other people, or addictions, choosing them over every single day. The other idea is, um, so you know when you're getting to know someone for the first time? Maybe it's someone you're interested in, or maybe it's just like, a new coworker. There's always that moment, that one moment when you see them differently. Like, you don't necessarily have to fall in love with them, but you could see how someone could fall in love with them. Like the first time you notice the freckles on their nose. Or when you genuinely hear them laugh and it sounds so pure. It's just like it hits you with the beauty of it all and you just appreciate them a little bit more. I also think that's what people talk about when they say, I choose to love you. I think sometimes you can choose to see those things. And so when you choose to love somebody, you're saying, I choose to see the beauty in you. I choose to see the things I love about you. And then sometimes, I think people choose to ignore to see those things, or not see those things at all. They choose to ignore the lovable traits about their partner, and how they fall for each other. Or maybe they get distracted by human flaws and fall in love with the idea of finding the fairy tale love, where they don't have to worry about the things like the sink or the snoring. <laughs> Speaking of snoring, are you asleep, baby? I'll take that as a yes. I've bored you enough to sleep with my philosophy about love talk. Well, if you're still listening, all that was to say, I choose you, I love you, and I choose you. You are so beautiful to me. Sleep well, my love. I choose to love you today, tomorrow, always.